I can always get behind a lady. <laughs> And Trey began yelling at me, choking me, punching me, and ultimately he knocked me to the ground. And pushes me against the wall mm -hmm. and puts his lips on my lips and is like, let's do this. I'm like, oh my god. But every bitch I know that has him says the same. Kid. Though, like, he, he took my phone and my purse away for like a whole day, held it over the balcony, was like, if you try and leave, I'm gonna drop this. So if I say something, I'm saying something for a reason. And I feel like so many times black women say stuff and nobody gives a Excuse my language. Nobody gives a f Welcome to Unsolicited, where I make videos about things that nobody asked me to. In recent years, several allegations have come out against R&B singer Trey Songz. He's been accused of assault, both physical and sexual. I don't know about y'all, but I didn't know that when he said, which one of y'all going home with Trigger, that it was a threat. Trey has recently turned himself into police custody after allegedly attacking a woman in a bowling alley. And today, I want to take a trip down memory lane looking at his past allegations. Starting with the history lesson, as always, Tremaine Neverson was born November 28, 1984 in Petersburg, Virginia. He started singing at 14 and was discovered by Troy Taylor at a talent show, leading him to sign with Atlantic Records in 2005. While Trey was recording his debut album, he was releasing mixtapes under the name Prince of Virginia. He even recorded a response record to R. Kelly's Trapped in the Closet called Open the Closet. His debut album, I Gotta Make It, was released in 2005, debuting at 20 on the billboards. In 2007, he released his second studio album called Trey Day, and what's interesting is that R. Kelly is actually a producer on that album. Throughout the span of his career, he's released other albums like Ready, Chapter 5, Trigger. He's also had several hit songs like Can't Help But Wait, Neighbors Know My Name, I Invented Bloop, and Say Ya Ah 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 Ah. Similar to R. Kelly, Trey has made a career of singing songs with very suggestive subject material. This suggestiveness clearly has carried on into his real life because he has had several assault allegations made against him. Starting with 2012, Trey was arrested for assaulting a woman at a strip club. The woman, Donna McIntosh, was in the VIP section of the club with Trey. He was celebrating the release of his album, Chapter 5. Donna snapped a picture of him. He got mad, tried to grab her phone to delete the picture. He verbally disrespected her as well as physically when he threw a wad of cash at her so hard that she got a black eye. One thing that comes with success is, uh... You know, people knowing your name for whatever reason, you being in the media, you know, and people can accuse you of anything and people can say you did anything. Uh, whatever uh, validity that holds is to be uh, to be discovered. Trey was arrested and charged with misdemeanor assault, but the case was eventually settled out of court. The club incident wasn't Trey's last violent outburst. In 2016, after his mic was cut off in the middle of a concert in Detroit, he started throwing microphones and breaking equipment on stage. A cameraman actually got hit with the microphone and was injured. He was arrested after this incident and actually ended up punching a police officer. He was sentenced to 18 months probation and had to take anger management classes, but clearly them classes didn't work because he has continued to be violent since then. In 2017, Kiki Palmer tried to warn us about Trey. She was at a party. He asked her to be in a music video. She said no multiple times and still ended up in the video without her consent. You guys, I'm honestly so upset and so livid that Trey Songz put me in his artist's video because I told him I didn't want to be in that video. Literally, I had so much fun New Year's, um, my trip to Miami. And then the last day, I went to his house because they was having a party. And I've known Trey since I was 12 and kept in touch with him consistently. But I've known him. He's seen me throughout my life. We were signed to the same label under the same production manager when I was a kid. So it's always been love whenever I seen him. I knew he was in Miami. He's doing a party. Cool. I'm going to come through. Me and my friends came through. It was a good time. They start playing a song that I happen to be in. They start saying like they want me to be in it. One person asks me. I say no. Another person asks me. I'm like, no. People keep asking me. Now, mind you, they've been giving food. They've been giving drinks. And I'm just starting to feel like, yo, I'm being like cornered. like, And I'm not in a professional situation. Like, I came here for a party, but I'm being pressured to do business, and I'm not in the right mind. My mind I'm under the influence, and I don't feel like it's fair that I'm having to deal with this right now. Literally, I keep getting asked and asked and asked and asked and pressured and pressured and put in a situation like, you know, like how you would feel as a young girl. I feel like, because I didn't go to high school and college, it was like my first experience of, of a dude being like, come on, come on, come on. Like, just do this, just do that, just do that. Like, that's the kind of feeling. Literally, I got so overwhelmed with what to do. Didn't know what to do because I could, like it, my Uber wasn't gonna get there quick and in, in quick enough time. So I was like, "What do I do in this meantime?" I know this sounds comical, as fuck, but y'all, I hid in the goddamn closet. I hid in the co goddamn closet because I was so afraid. Like I, I didn't know what to do. I really, really don't like conflict, and I didn't want to. Like I, I it was just too much. I started to feel overwhelmed. It was like a lot of people constantly saying something. Mind you, my homegirl was so drunk that when they came in 
trade in a uh, business system, whatever. Like they, they came in trying to find my ass. My homegirl pointed to the closet, saying some she in the bathroom, she in the bathroom. They're like, she's not, she's not in the bathroom. The bathroom door is open. Like, and she kept pointing to the closet because the closet, y'all, the fact that I fit in there was nuts. Literally, he starts laughing once he opens up the closet and sees I'm in there and sees how nervous I was. He was like, yo, he was like, you don't have to, you don't have to be in the video. He was like, damn. He's like, yo, Kiki, if you don't want to be in a pop-up video shoot and you want to say that, that's fine. That's fine. And it's all good. Like, it's good, sis. Flash forward. I'm in the video. How am I in the video? Then I'm thinking back. Oh, I'm in the video because you, when I was getting pressured, they had set me down. He had set me down on the couch like, this is the idea I have. Da, 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 da. But I had no idea that they was filming. He's sitting here telling me that's what he's showing me that they might. And I'm just like I, I I would I would never want to say nothing like this public and I like I never would want to be like yo ba 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 but honestly I would be doing a disservice not only to myself but to the people that support and follow me if I didn't be like yo call it out because this shit just not cool after kiki explained what happened wendy williams decided to talk about it on her show and this is why women don't come out when they've been violated because people love to victim blame here's what wendy like, had I'm to say i'm gonna convince you why she's wrong wrong first of all whenever you go and there's gonna be filming for the purpose pur purpose of public consumption there's always a sign that sign can be this big or this big if you heard somebody say to you 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 know we're gonna do this video you know we want you to be in it the second you don't want to be in a video that's when you're supposed to pack up your rum punch and leave leave and of course on the breakfast club trey said that kiki was not recorded without her permission ain't nobody put her on camera without accident there's a sign on the door that this there's a video being shot you step on these premises you will be recorded point blank period i don't have to say nothing else about nothing in the end, Kiki was edited out of the video and the world moved on. In 2018, Trey was arrested at his home for abusing a woman named Andrea Barrera. She alleged that he had punched her, choked her, and beat her until she got a concussion. She said that she had known Trey for three years, they were at a party, and he got angry that she was talking to another dude. I was attending an after party when Trey began yelling at me, choking me, punching me, and ultimately he knocked me to the ground. I had to go to the hospital because he hit me so hard that I had a concussion. Guerra says the next day she had dark bruises on her body, face, and neck. Trey, I'd like an apology. I want you to get help. And although I'm not your first victim, I'd like to be your last. Andrea dropped the lawsuit with prejudice, meaning that she could never file again, aka she was paid off. Also in 2018, Trey was accused of inappropriately touching two women at a Miami nightclub. Despite all these allegations against him, the media continued to brush it off. Did you know Trey songs ever get cool again? Man, you know, I've not talked to that guy. You know, I've not spoken to that guy. Was it a know? misunderstanding? Like, because you accused him of true intimidation last you know year. it wasn't a mis it wasn't a misunderstanding she told her story of what i tell my truth and you know i just thought it was real interesting that after all those things went down someone else had something to say so. in 2020 influencer selena powell's friend aliza said on no jumper that trey had urinated on her took her phone and kept her in a hotel room not letting her leave okay, but every right. i know that tim says the same shit. like he pees on him? yeah i think and he's kid. Psycho, like he he took my phone and my purse away for like a whole day held it over the balcony was like if you try and leave, I'm gonna drop this. I kept asking like, when can I leave? What time is it? And he like just wouldn't answer. He was just <laughs> ignoring me. But y'all didn't want to believe me. And, okay. And, and he's she, just... he did the same thing to her. Like, do. anyway, we saw Trey. It happened. He would refuse to let me go. He made me do some shit that I was not comfortable with doing. I called the police. I handled everything how I was supposed to. You know, like this is not fun to me. Like having having to. Say like that Trey songs like insulted me. He hit me. All right, well that's a lot to digest right there. Now those are very serious allegations. Those are very serious allegations. Those are allegations that should not be tried in the court of public opinion. Like, I, don't, I don't like when people think that somebody is just gonna be saying something just to say it. First of all, I love black people. I love my people. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna try to ever tear nobody down. Try to tear no black man down. That's not who I am. You know what I'm saying? So if I say something, I'm saying something for a reason. And I feel like so many times black women say stuff and nobody gives a shit. Excuse my language. Nobody gives a fuck when sometimes black women say something. But somebody of another complexion, somebody of another color, they say something and then it's like, we're taking it to court. <laughs> it's time to get serious. Hashtag me too. Obviously, Trey denied these allegations. 
Jumping to 2021, Trey gets arrested once again for an altercation with a cop at a Chiefs game. That same year, Trey was sued by a bartender who alleged that Trey had gotten violent with him back in 2019 at a Cardi B concert. In November of 2021, yet another woman came out saying that Trey had sexually assaulted her in Vegas. In early 2022, WNBA player Dylan Gonzalez took to Twitter to say that Trey was an artist. Another anonymous woman came out saying that Trey had violated her back in 2016 at a house party. She was seeking $20 million in damages, but the case was eventually dismissed due to statute of limitations. You're saying that he's a R&B dude that women like. That don't mean saying. nothing to me. Okay, well. That says nothing to me. And I'm saying that he's a guy that's an R&B singer that women like. We, we know this. We've seen this. We've seen shows. We've seen women say things openly about Trey Song. Facts. So what I'm saying is, as in that a guy in that position, you have to be very careful about the energy you put out towards women because just because you're this guy that some women has thrown themselves at doesn't mean that every woman wants that type of energy and most recently an anonymous bowling alley worker claims that trey physically assaulted her in a bathroom the report claims that trey punched her dragged her by her hair and allegedly there's a second victim who was a man trey has turned himself into nypd and his legal team told tmd that this is another instance where those involved try to blame the celebrity with hopes of getting fame or riches and that they are confident that his name will be cleared but clearly they're delusional because everyone can't be lying on this man. There's been at least 12 women who have come out with allegations against Trey. And every time he's like, it's not true. They want my money, blah, blah, blah. Trey is a grimy, sick individual and needs to be locked up right next to his inspiration. Talking about neighbors know my name. Yeah, your neighbors go know your name when y'all bunk to bunk in the penitentiary. I just worry about the example that he's setting for his young son. Trey's been able to get away with his actions for so many years and Hollywood has almost protected him in a strange way because women have come out time and time again with a story about Trey and people just brushed it off. Even BB Rex had a story about Trey. Yeah, I went to a wedding. I went to my lawyer's wedding and um, we, uh, it was like, a, they rented like a mansion and um, everybody at the end, it was like only like 50 of us at the end of the party, you know, it was like all these, was some of the Victoria's Secret models, like his big clients and Trey Songs was there with his date. And I go to the pool house, literally, and I swear on everything. He's giving me the eye all night, and I was like, okay, what's going on? This is weird. I go to the um, the pool house, just like right by the pool, and he literally is at the door and pushes me against the wall mm -hmm. and puts his lips on my lips and is like, let's do this. I'm like, oh, oh my God. Uh, I, don't, I don't think I'm supposed to do it. <laughs> 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 oh, this story is great. Yeah. In all these laughing like so funny. There was also the time where he made Nina Dobrev very uncomfortable on live television, and no one thought anything of it. It's an incredibly diverse group of Best Rock Video nominees. There's even a lady in the mix, and um, I can always get behind a lady. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he probably didn't mean that the way it sounded. <laughs> oh, but I did, though. The okay. nominees for Best Video... You know, people get in that position of power, and they think because they're good-looking and they got money that they can do absolutely anything to anybody with no repercussions. It's sick. The industry is so dark, and it just makes you wonder who else has some skeletons in their closet that we don't know about. Anyways, y'all, that's it. That's the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe, all the things that YouTubers be telling people to do, and I'll see you next time. Bye!